Hey everyone, hey guys, doing Grugs here, Legion Tact Cool Cutlery. Welcome back, Troops Legionnaires and new recruits to another Legion premiere, man. And uh, it's an awesome afternoon. The sun is out, feeling good. I did a two hour hike today, man. I'm getting stronger, getting better. And, uh, you know, I feel real good, man. And I just got back and I wanted to do this Legion premiere, showing off this uh, Swiss tech that I purchased. I tried contacting these guys for a collaboration. Uh, I didn't get any answers, so I'm not sure, you know, if you guys have some kind of warranty and you try contacting them, the, contacting these guys, if they'll even get back to you or not, but they sure as hell didn't get back to me for any reason. So, um, you know, that, I don't know if that tells you anything. However, you know, I needed, I needed to have this knife. Yes, I needed <laughs> needed and wanted to have this knife it's a good looking knife man you know you saw a couple of videos already on the internet um i'm in no rush to test this since i purchased it i have other obligations to other vendors to test but at least i own it and i have it and you know i can't wait to share it with everybody so before we get started with some specs let me all know what you guys are carrying once again i am carrying my range <coughs> my range boss 2 okay in sk5 from cold steel an excellent pocket folder in a leather sheath man really nice let me all know what you guys are carrying today all right cool now let me uh let me just get the specs for this knife i tell you what man they it comes in a real nice package so for the collector, you guys are going to be happy. And I just looked on their website, and it looks like they're coming out with a whole bunch more fixed blades, including something similar to this, but smaller. Um, all right, so let's go over the specs. We're looking at an overall length of 10.25 inch with a blade length of 5.2 inch, handle length 5 inch, blade thickness is 4.9 millimeter, uh, blade material is D2, and it does have a finish in the it a tactile coating. Blade style is a drop point. Handle material is canvas micarta, and this particular knife has a, a divot for, I guess, a bow drill. Um, knife thickness is 19.05 millimeters. Uh, knife type of full tang, yeah, right. Full tang fixed blade sheath material is FRN or fiberglass reinforced nylon, which I don't think is too bad. I think it's pretty good stuff. And the knife weight is 10.2 ounce. So very, very cool, man. Now, let me just show you. Let me go back. I want to show you this other small knife that they're coming out with. Uh, check that out, man. Look at that let me just make this a little bit bigger look at that that's a nice little knife that's a great little backup companion to this uh this beautiful blade over here so you know this you could have by your hip and then this one over here on the small of your back hopefully they have a sheet that i can uh, carry it in a scout position but yeah man i mean this is the hold on a second. let me see what the name of this thing is the licked precision fixed blade so but okay i digress man I, I let me show you this knife because i think it's it's a really nice knife and it's sharp man if you could see right over here i did this with this knife just to just to see how it you know how sharp it was and uh it's it's sharp man it is really sharp so awesome drop point blade it's going to give sc6 a run for its money i know a lot of people ain't going to like that um I know that the SE6 is uh, coming 1095, and I think an S35VN, but hey, you know, what are you gonna do, man? It's uh, still a pretty nice knife. D2 steel, it is a $40 knife at Walmart. Now, um, I had to order this online. I don't know if the Walmarts here in New York have them or any place else. I know some content creators got them from Walmart. I know some contact, content creators got them uh, from Swiss Tech, okay? But um, I haven't seen any real hard use of this knife yet, so um, I don't know. We'll see if I if I if I feel up to it. You know, once I've got my other obligations done with the uh, other vendors. But 
beautiful beautiful drop point blade i i don't know about this coating over here i know that it it comes off i've seen some other content creators where this is gets all scuffed up not a big deal i think i would rather have seen um like a stone wash black finish or sat just satin finish but it is what it is it's got that small little swiss tech logo over there beautiful and nicely contoured handle and g10 scales man i'm sorry no wait a minute is it did i say g10 uh let me see what are the scales again canvas my card okay sorry canvas my card okay it says it right on the box <laughs> but it's nicely done um this the tang and the g10 liners protrude just a little bit but again it's very consistent all the way around and it has a little hammer area over here with the jimping and uh the spine i'm sure will do the job it's not taking any material off my nail but um you know i wonder once i get started if this will work so I got to test that out when the time comes. So I'm jimping over here. You can see how nice and thick. You can see how nice and thick that spine is from end to the, you know, and it tapers down to the tip over there. I like it, man. I really, really do like it. Uh, as far as the handle goes, it's one of the most comfortable handles I've ever felt, man. It's it's extremely nice. There's a small choil over here. because You have a little sharpening choil, and then there's another choil right over here. I guess if you want to do a little bit more close-up work. Um, but the feel, let me do a reverse grip. Feels good, man. So obviously this could be a hunting knife and, you know, probably take this fishing, uh, probably a very, very, uh, multi-role type of a knife. I don't think I have any doubts about that whatsoever. I like it, man. I really do like it. Uh, the scales are removable. And see, these guys, they didn't put a lanyard hole over here by the end. But what they did was they put one of these screws with the hole in them on both sides. And now, and it comes with this lanyard, which is very cool. And it's a sturdy lanyard. So uh, it's it's a nice little setup, man. A nice little setup. I like it. I like it. And I, you know, I'm glad I bought it. Uh, I want to get, I kind of want to get now a lot more of their knives, man, because... You know, for the price, this is a great budget. And if the Walmarts have it, you could just hop in your car and go grab these awesome blades. Budget blades too, man, you know? That's the beauty about it, man. These are awesome budget blades that, you know, you don't have to wait for. Hopefully your Walmarts have them and you can just go and pick them up. And there's gonna be a, you know, go check out the Swiss Tech website because there's gonna be a ton more, you know, knives coming out, fixed blades. And I definitely am getting that small one when it comes out, so. Um, it's going to be, it's going to be very, very cool. Let's take a quick look at the sheath here. It's, uh, you know, I, I, I know some of you aren't going to like that FRN because it might dull the blade, but, uh, I, it looks pretty good. It's sturdy. I know it's not Kydex, but it's got some, you know, some of the rivets. It would have been nice if they would have put in the, the slots over here, you know, to make it a little bit more versatile. But the molding uh, injection seems to be pretty decent. You could have it in the scalp carry or a couple of different positions. Okay, you've got one of these these type of um, belt belt locks over here. It is. I uh, don't think this is removable from what I can see. So it's not like you could take this off and add something third party like a quieter nylon belt loop or leather or something like that. This, this, what you see here is what you get. But you know what? You could probably, if you wanted to make it dangle, you could probably purchase something over here or rig something up and then add this to your belt. So you gotta use a little bit of uh, ingenuity and creativity. Swiss Tech logo. I don't know, I, I kinda like it. I took this for a hike, uh, for that two hour hike. I had this on my hip, it, it rode fine. I was able to take it out, pop, you know, pop, pop it back in without a problem. As you can see, it has this little thumb area over here that's jimped a bit. I just, it's nice. It's nice. And, uh, you know, I don't, I don't think that, 
I haven't gotten any kind of uh, uh, um, feeling that this dulled the knife because I was able to do that when I came back from the hike. So pretty nice sheath, man. So let me just show you this pretty awesome box. It's awesome. The box is pretty decent. Okay, at least they, they, they put some thought, you know, into the box, which is nice. As you can see, gives you some information, logo, some pictures. Um, there's your limited lifetime warranty. We want you to love our new product. Get in touch with us if you have a problem, and we'll help set it straight. Let's, let's hope so, because, like I said, I tried to reach out to them for a collaboration, and I got fuck all. Okay, that's kind of fucked up. I, you know, even if they said, "Listen, not we're we're not, uh, you know, handing out any more, any more knives, or we're not looking for any more, you know, content created," I got nothing. So I'm not sure exactly, you know, how, um, how they're going to respond if there's an issue, if anybody's already had an issue or not. In any case, check it out, man. I mean, they did. The box is nice. The packaging is nice. So if you're a collector, you're good to go, man. So you pop this open. And then you have a whole bunch of, you know, uh, bullet points over here, and then you know correlates with the with the the numbers on this plastic that comes off, and then the knife goes here, and then underneath, you know, there's more information, etc., and all that all that good stuff. So it is a beautiful box, man, beautiful box. But let's face it, man, the box isn't isn't the whole real deal here, right? It's the knife to see how it performs. Um, let me just pop this in. It, uh, it, there's some magnets here, so it closes up nice. I mean, one of the nicer boxes that are out there for sure. Okay, so there you go, man. Let me just put that back. Let me get, get this sheath out of here, out of the way. Let me see if I can get it into view of some sort. There we go. All right, now. One thing I like about all these knives that are coming out of the factories in China is that so many of them are coming properly sharpened, man. Um, that's, that's, I mean, that's, that's huge. You know what I mean? That is just huge. So for those who can't afford an SE6, right? There you go, man. Here's an alternative for you. So, and you know, according to the limited warranty, you got, all you got to do is contact them if you have an issue or a problem, and they'll set you straight. So, you know, let me know if anybody has had any issues with this knife yet, and has tried to contact these guys to, uh, you know, for repair or whatever to solve an issue. I'm kind of curious if they got back to you because, you know, they never got back to me. So, uh, I don't know if that's a good sign or a bad sign. So in any case. Let's just check out the sharpness of this knife. So let's do it. Just want to show you. There's a nice little thin curl that I'm making right now. <laughs> Look at that. So, I mean, the craft tag says bushcraft, that large bushcraft fixed blade. So I guess it's specifically made for bushcrafting. So batoning is in, right? And as you can see, we're making some nice curls. So it is sharp. The angle of the bevel is really nice. The sheath rides really nice on, on my hip. So hopefully, it, you know, you guys agree with it too, if you decide to get one. Uh, I mean, look at that. Look at that. You can't go wrong. I like D2 steel. Always have. Always will. There's nothing wrong with D2 steel. Um, I've had a couple of hiccups with a couple of different knife companies uh, on the D2 steel. They have replaced it. They were a stand-up company. But for the most part, man, I, you know, D2, a lot of D2 knives that I've tested have come through with flying colors. So, again, I, I'm, I'm not sure when I'm going to be testing this. Like I said, I have other obligations, but... Uh, who knows, man? You know, might be uh, sometime in the future. So it's very nice, man. Very nice. And I wish the coating. I wish they didn't have this coating. I know it's gonna. I know it's gonna come off. I know it's gonna come off. Again, though, it's a tool. So who cares, right? 
it is a tool. There's a purpose for this tool, and that's to go out there and utilize it when it's need, you know when it's needed. So if you need it in the woods, in the camp environment, in a you know bushcraft environment, whatever environment. I mean, you could take this into you know into the field as a soldier, man. Why not? Uh, whatever you like, man. If they allow you to take your own personal knife and something that you like, go for it, man. This is a very nice knife. I like it. I really do, and I am. I'm happy. I, you know, I spent the forty bucks on it, man. At least it's a budget blade, you know. You're you're not gonna be paying a ton of money. So, uh, let's look at that warranty one more time. Let me read that one more time because I know some companies were a little iffy on their warranties, you know. So, once again. They're saying here, limited lifetime warranty. We want you to love our new product. Get in touch with us if you have a problem and we'll help set it straight. Help at greatstar-us.com. So we'll see. We will see. Again, if anybody has experienced any issue with their crafting and you are, you know, you are in the process of getting it fixed or repaired or you know, dealing with their customer service, please let us know. I, I'm kind of curious because once again, they haven't they haven't reached out to me. So that kind of, you know, that kind of was a little weird. And uh, let me show you, let's see, hold on a second. Let me get back. Let me get back to some of their other products. I want to show you, apparently they have flashlights. So they got little power. Uh, power batteries, yeah, they're sharp tools. All right. Okay, here it is. This is the Halt Bar Survival Knife. Check that out, man. This is like a real nice looking bushcraft knife with a leather sheath. There you go. Wow, look at that. Look at the jimping on that. There's the specs on it, but the, here you are getting a better look at the knife. I mean, it, it seems kind of plain, but, you know, there's a knife out there for everybody, man. And as a knife enthusiast, man, I, I'd go for it. Why not? I'd give it a shot. Actually, I'm kind of curious what steel this is. This is VG10. VG10 is pretty inexpensive, so I'm kind of curious. To, to, I wonder how much this is going for interesting that they use vg10 steel okay cool let's um let's look at the other one hold on a second so you have this hot bar hey this is the one i'm interested in i like this man and you know hopefully it won't be too much money but there's the top view of it and here's some specs and again oh d2 steel okay and there's there's a better look at the knife i think it looks pretty cool man um, definitely a great companion to this, uh, to the bigger bushcraft knife. I think it's pretty awesome, dude. You know, I think it's awesome. And, uh, let's see, let me, let me show you some other pictures over here. The Lect also has uh, a protruding tang that's jimped. And hopefully, man, we can get this in a scout carry configuration, man. So I'm excited. For this one too, I can't wait. Uh, hopefully, this time around, the New York Walmart's I'll have these in stock. But if not, I'll just order them online. Damn fucking communist state that we live in. <laughs> it's ridiculous. In any case, man, I digress on all this stuff. So, there you go, troops. I am pretty much finished, man. I just want to say thank you very much uh, for taking the time to check this out i hope this was a pretty cool video for you all let me know what you think about this knife man and uh you know we'll see if i'll do a hard use video on this one soon enough if there's no other questions let me bring awareness to everybody hashtag 22 a day hashtag 22 a day no more there are veterans in active military once they get out of the service they do face a lot of challenges unfortunately one of these challenges is suicide so at the uh, end of this video go check out the comment section and the description section There'll be phone numbers you can call. There'll be websites you can browse. 
Please talk to somebody. Seek the help you all have earned and deserve. All right, Troops, Legionnaires and Recruits, thanks again. At the ready, hold the line. Take care.